At the Global Investigative Journalism Conference, we asked some of the world's leading experts for their top tips when investigating stories. Using digital data can reveal hidden truths, and it should be accompanied by in-depth reporting. Hi, I'm Janina Zanini. I'm an investigative reporter with more than 25 years of experience. I'm the director of the data journalism program at Columbia University in New York, and I also lead a group of investigative fellows uh, uh, doing uh, cross-border data investigations, and we're uh, currently teaming up uh, with uh, some media partners in New York, uh, and they publish the work we do. In order to investigate, you need to connect the dots. So my first tip would be just that. Connecting the dots involves collecting pieces of information from multiple sources and making sense of it to find hidden patterns and outliers that ultimately can lead to relevant stories. Um, and uh, investigating means precisely uh, combining all these pieces of information uh, from multiple uh, sources. Tip number two, do not trust any data source because data lie the same as people do. So you need to conduct a thorough investigation about the data itself before starting to analyzing uh, the data. One of the ways to do that is um, looking into uh, how complete is the data, uh, if it represents uh, the time frame that you are investigating, uh, also sorting by uh, different uh, fields, looking into the extreme values. Uh, sometimes they could be typos and mistakes in the data. And then obviously is uh, finding out who and why collected the data. What's the purpose of it? Who paid for it? So all these quality assessment has to be done before you start analyzing the data. Tip number three. Before you start analyzing the data, you have to use your imagination. Imagine how the data was collected, by whom, um, was there any form involved? If so, then it's good to have access to that form and to see the questions that were asked. Having access to the source of uh, the data collection allows you to make uh, a better assessment and to ask much better questions. Tip number four. Data is full of acronyms and codes, and you need to know what they mean before digging into the data. Usually those weird acronyms or weird codes uh, can take you to places that you uh, otherwise would never imagine. Uh, and so by understanding what they mean, you can ask uh, questions and then combine multiple variables and be able to uh, find ultimately better stories. Think about it as if uh, you are interrogating or interviewing a person. What to do when, you're, uh, when you have an interview? You obviously do research about this person or uh, the work this person does. Uh, it's the same with data. Imagine that the fields uh, or variables in a data set are like ladies that you are going to interview. And uh, you need to know everything about any, each of these ladies before interviewing them. Tip number five, clean and standardize your data before analyzing it. You need to make sure that all, all the variables have the same standards uh, that there are no uh, typos of extra characters in, in every uh, cell or piece of information. And so once you have your data clean, you can start having the fun part, which is analyzing uh, this data and finding uh, stories out of it. The most important tip is connecting the dots and being able to combine multiple pieces of information from multiple sources to answer a question uh, that you have to have at the very beginning. Connecting the dots always implies uh, going to multiple places 
getting a piece of information that can lead you to the second place and the third place and so on and so forth. So that strategy uh, that is usually designed at the very beginning of the investigation uh, totally affects and uh, help you uh, on how to be able to see the whole picture. Um, and connecting the dots, it's an art. Um, and that art is always based in a question or multiple questions. So the strategy of selecting the right data, uh, it's always linked to um, this big question or um, hypothesis that you have in your mind and that you know can be answered by uh, connecting the dots across multiple sources of information. One of the examples on working with data started in a class that I teach at Columbia that it's called Using Data to Investigate Across Borders. In that class, we have done several projects. One of them is the Global Shipping Project, where we collected uh, data from multiple sources on uh, the shipping industry. And as a result, um, we were able to published multiple stories, one of them related to the cruise industry and how, uh, so we collected data on every single cruise ship in the world and looked into different patterns and uh, variables about each of them. So we were able to uh, prove how this industry is uh, unregulated, uh, how they lobby uh, to avoid regulation. One of the findings uh, that it's not a secret is how Every single ship uh, owned by um, cruise companies in the U.S. is registered in an offshore country. Uh, so that means that if you take a cruise um, and once you are inside the boat, everything that happens there uh, is regulated by the legislation of the country where the ship is registered. That's why there's abuse uh, in terms of labor, uh, international I mean, crimes happening in a, in a cruise ship are usually not investigated uh, necessarily in the country where you're from, but in the country uh, where the ship is registered. So all these findings and more patterns uh, were uh, discovered by a group of students uh, at Columbia who collected uh, the data from multiple open source and commercial databases and uh, we followed all the process from you know collecting, cleaning, processing and interrogating the data till contrasting this data with reality.